Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Akif Beg. Today we will be talking about myocardial stunning. So, during myocardial infarction, so whenever there is a myocardial infarction occurs, that is, any coronary arteries get blocked. So, the myocardium is at the risk of necrosis. So, initially, after an initial occlusion, what happens up to 20 minutes, there is an area of risk. So, this is the left ventricle, you can see there is an area of risk. So, first part to get necrosis is the subendocardial necrosis. And then the necrosis starts progressing and there is near transmural infarction. When there is total transmural necrosis, that means the tissue is dead and that means the, the tissue has lost the viability. So before that, there are period of phases where patient, uh, where the myocardium goes into a phases called a stunning or myocardium, stunning or hibernation. So we'll talk about the stunning in this uh, video. So what happens is whenever there is a myocardial infarction, uh, the myocardium can actually go into five pathophysiologies. One is normal myocardial perfusion and function, myocardial ischemia, stunned myocardium, myocardial hibernation or non-viable infarction. So myocardial stunning is nothing but is reversible state of regional contractile dysfunction that occurs after transient ischemia without ensuing necrosis. That means whenever uh, there is an ischemia occurs, so that time uh, for a brief period of time, uh, the myocardium has been replaced. So you can see here, so now what happened during ischemia, there is decreased perfusion to this part of the, suppose this is a left ventricle or a ventric, any ventricle part, this part is receiving a decreased perfusion during acute ischemia. So because of the decreased per perfusion, uh, to save the conserve the energy, the function is also lost during this time. So there is decreased function as well during acute ischemia. Now, now if you have done a uh, acute uh, revascularization of the vessel, so whichever the coronary artery was blocked, now if you have cleared that a relief of ischemia has done. So what happened, the perfusion in that area is maintained but the area to function normally, like the moment to come, it takes some time sometimes. And whenever this phase occurs, where there is perfusion is maintained, but there is decreased function. So this tissue is viable and this is now is called a stunned myocardium. So again, I repeat, the stunned myocardium is a myocardium that is even after revascularization, even after restoring the perfusion in that area, the function uh, remains, uh, the moment is still reduced for some period of time, which is called a stunned myocardium. And this is a viable tissue. So this myocardium will again uh, will come back to normal action. So suppose this part of the myocardium is not at all moving initially after its reperfusion, it will generally uh, recover within uh, days to week, and this is called as myocardial stunning. So this is a very important uh, concept which you should know in assessment of myocardial viability. Hope you have liked this video. If you want more videos like this, do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Akib Pei. Thank you.